Good morning everyone and welcome to Yoga with Jenny. Um, I'm Jenny and I'm going to be taking you for your session today. So make sure if you're joining us today to give us a wee like and comment. I'd love to hear how you guys are getting on. If it's your first time doing yoga, that's no problem at all. All of the exercises are completely suitable for beginners. You can take a break anytime that you like. Um, so just get yourself a mat, a little cushion if you have it, uh, some water and we'll get started. So, if you want to join me in easy pose, let's just sit it, sit it with both of our sit bones on the ground, legs crossed over. And set up nice and tall. So, if you're not used to sitting in this position, it can be a little bit uncomfortable to start, but that's okay. The more you sit in it, the more you'll get used to it. So, it might be easy, if you, it might be handier if you want to sit on a block, if you have it, a yoga block or a cushion, that will give you the extra height and you'll, be able to, you'll find you'll be able to sit up a little bit. Uh, better with that. So, easy pose, like I said, both sit bones down on the ground, legs crossed over, shoulders back and down, you have a nice little curve in your lower back. You're going to push your belly into that space between your legs, that will just help get yourself into that correct alignment. And when we're sitting in this pose, um, it's an active lift with the chest. So, we're not going to sit, we're not going to crunch over, just try to be mindful of that throughout. Um, so just actively lifting the chest, pushing the belly forward, getting that nice little curve in your back. And we're going to start off with our hands, uh, palms facing up on our knees. So today we're going to start off, we're going to do a little bit of, just a quick little two minute meditation where we just tune into our breath. We'll move on then uh, to do a little bit of pranayama, which is a breathing technique. So we're going to do some alternate nostril breathing, I'll talk you through that. And then we're going to start off today with a little shoulder opener, uh, working on our arms, our shoulders, our upper back, and um, trying to release some tension in those areas. And um, moving on, then we'll just do our usual couple of cat cows, and um, a little bit of floor work, and then up we'll do some standing work, and then some stretching and a shavasana at the end, a little relaxation piece. So, sit, get and checking your posture again, sitting up nice and tall. We're going to get started. So gently close over your eyes. And we're just going to start by breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. Taking another breath in through our nose, filling up our lungs, take pictures in like two balloons, filling them right up. And then exhale from the mouth. Where the exhale with force, clearing out all that air in your lungs. Inhale through the nose. And exhale from the mouth. From now on, we're doing the inhale and exhale through our nose. So taking a big inhale, visualizing that breath going from your nose the whole way down to the bottom of your belly, filling up your lungs, past your chest, your cloud fill, and then exhale from the nose, from the top down. So just really visualizing that air coming out of our lungs, and really just getting that mind-body connection. So continue breathing through your nose. Just tuning into our bodies, get, doing a nice little body scan here, thinking about our body from the top of our head the whole way down. Continuing to breathe and just noticing maybe some areas that we're carrying tension in. It might be the shoulders, it might be the back. And then on the exhale, we're just going to exhale away that stress. Relaxing the body. Inhaling. Just letting any thoughts come and go on our head. Trying to clear our mind as best we can, which is not always easy to do. So by focusing on the breath, it'll give us something to meditate on. And trying to stay as still as possible. Really focusing on that breath. Making that transition from our daily life onto our mat. Just preparing the mind for all of our movements to come. Last few breaths here. Up our eyes. So 
hopefully after that little, little quick meditation is feeling a little bit more calmer and more in tune with our bodies. So we're going to move on now to our pranayama breathing technique, so it's called alternate nostril breathing. We've done this in a couple of our uh, other sessions as well. It's a really good way to just kind of relieve anxiety, just relax the body, again getting in touch with your breath. A really nice one to do if you're stressed maybe, uh, at the end of the day or at the start of the day just to get those good feelings going. So we're going to start off, we're going to take our uh, right hand and we're going to place it on our two, our two fingers on our forehead. Our thumb then, we're going to place it on the right side of our nostril and then the other two fingers on the left side. So that's the sort of shape that you want to have with your hand. It might feel a little bit awkward at the start, but it's all about that practice will feel more comfortable. So basically we're going to be breathing in through one side of our nose, retaining that breath, closing over that side and then exhaling on the other side. So we're going to get started. Start by closing over your left nostril with your two fingers and taking an inhale from your right side. Fill up your lungs, retain that breath as you close over your right nostril and release the left nostril, exhaling from the left side. From here, take an inhale from the left side. Retain that breath as you close over the left side and release the right, exhaling from the right side. Inhale from the right side. Retain the breath, close over the right nostril with the thumb and release from the left side. Again, inhaling from the left side now. Retain the breath, close the left side and exhale from the right. So you can just work through this at your own pace. The goal isn't to get through the breath as quick as possible, the goal is to breathe nice and slow and just really bring that heart rate down and get that nice calm feelings over the body. So work through these at your own pace. You can hold your breath for, you can retain your breath for longer if that is something that feels good to you or it can be shorter to start with as you work up through, through the breaths. Always inhaling from one side. Retaining that breath and exhaling from the other side. So we're going to do a couple more rounds of this at your own pace. So just working in your own range and then um, just trying to do it as best as you can. Last few breaths here. And now when you're ready, you can bring your hand back down to your knee and just take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale from your mouth. Exhale from your mouth. One more time, inhale through your nose. Exhale from the mouth. And then returning to your nostril, breathing your inhale in and your exhaling through your nose. So we're going to get started then with our little shoulders, neck, and upper back mobility routine. So, really good if you're sitting at a desk all day, if you just carry that tension in your shoulders. Really nice way to just relax those and release the shoulders and just get a little bit more mobility going. So fixing ourselves up again in our easy pose, our seated cross-legged pose, and with our active chest lift. You can keep your hands on your knees here. We're going to start off with some neck circles. So just using the tip of your nose as a guide, we're just going to draw a circle with our neck. So nice and slowly. Moving your neck through its full range, using that nose as a guide. 
to draw a circle. And just tuning into where you feel this in your neck, just feeling all those little muscles switch on. Feel a little stretches everywhere. Moving in one direction. And then when we get to the top, we're going to go the opposite direction. Draw that circle. Nice and wide. And you can start off smaller with a smaller circle if that gives you too gradually increasing the size of the circle. But trying to move that neck into full range. And then come back to center. We're just going to drop our neck down to one side. So don't force your neck down, just let turn your neck to one side and then let it fall down towards your shoulder. Keeping your shoulders down. Don't bring the shoulder up to reach the ear, just relax then, let gravity do the work, feeling that stretch on the opposite side, and just breathe in thread, and then we're going to do the opposite side, just dropping that opposite ear to opposite shoulder, stretching out the other side. Again, not pulling your shoulders up to meet the ear, just letting gravity do the work. Don't force your head down, just and feel that stretch there. I'm going to come back to center. I'm going to drop the chin down towards the chest. So feeling that in the back of our neck now. Again, not forcing down, not crunching down, keeping the back nice and long. Just dropping the chin down towards the chest. Continuing to breathe. And then we're going to come back to centre and then raise the chin up towards the ceiling, letting the head fall back. Feeling that in the front of our neck now. Just going to move on to our shoulders now. So with our shoulders we're going to bring our shoulders forward a little bit. So just kind of turning them forward. We're going to elevate them up towards our ears, retract them back and then draw them down. So keep your hands out to your side here. So curl your shoulders forward. Feel that in your upper back. Elevate your shoulders towards your ears. Retract them back. Feel your shoulder blades retract and then draw them down. So just moving that shoulder blade in a sort of circular motion. So we're retracting forward, or like a square even, sorry. Retract forward, elevate, retract, and then. And do a couple more of those. Forward, elevate, retract, and then. Forward, elevate, retract, and then. And I can feel a little cracks and pops, that's all on once there's no pain involved. Forward, elevate, retract, and then last one. Forward, elevate, retract, and then. And then we're going to elevate our arms out to the side, and we're going to draw small little circles with our fingers here. Just moving our whole shoulders, keeping our torso nice and still. Little circles. And then we're gradually going to start drawing bigger circles. Keeping our torso nice and still. Keeping that core strong to keep us in a stable position. We're just moving the arms and the shoulders here. Drawing bigger circles as we go. And then slowly go back to your small circles. And then we're going to go opposite direction. Starting off with the small circles. And then gradually increasing those circles. Feeling those shoulders switch on here. Keeping the torso stable. And then little small circles then. 
and then drop your hands down. Bring your hands up to your shoulders, and then we're going to use our elbows as a guide here. So drawing a circle with the elbows, nice and wide. I'm going to bring those forearms up past your ears, back and then opening up the chest, working the shoulders. And still breathing the whole time. If you've lost sync with your breath, just bring it back. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling from the nose. And then with our elbows, we're going to go the opposite direction. Feeling it more in the chest here. Nice circles. Keeping your torso stable. Down through that, and then we're just going to elevate the shoulders and then depress the shoulders. Elevate the shoulders, depress. Up and down. Still breathing. Up and down. fingertips to guide. We're just going to inhale as we cross over the fingers. Exhale then. 
Inhale, up. You can cross the opposite way now. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Just notice it in there, feeling this in your shoulders, your upper back. Again, trying to get those biceps behind the head without jarring the head forward. But working our own range. This move will look different for everybody. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your arms in. Roll up your shoulders. And we're going to just do some eagle arms now. So I'm going to stretch the upper back here. We're going to bring our arms out like this. And then we're going to bring them together. We're going to cross one elbow over the other. So starting off like that. One elbow on top of the other. And then, if you can, we're going to press our hands back. So they're kind of coming in a twist. And if you can, you're going to join your two palms together here slightly like this. This is the pose that we want to end up with. So this is what it looks like from the side. So again, work where this feels comfortable with you. If you feel it stretched just like this, that's fine. You can stay there. You feel the stretch here or you can just hold, you can just cross over the elbows and hold on to your shoulders here as well so we give you the same stretch. If you can, we're going to loop the hands together, twist them together and face the palms towards the other. We're going to pull the elbows down, so really feel that in your upper back here. Compressing the chest and stretching the thoracic spine. And take a few breaths here. I'm trying to lift the elbows away from the body as well, give you a deeper stretch, so down and away from the body. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Exhale, I'm just going to release the arms slowly, so just releasing them away. And we're going to do the opposite side. So, again, lifting your arms up, crossing opposite arm over opposite, uh, opposite arm over each other, elbow hooked in over. And again, if this feels okay for you, you can grab on your shoulders here. If you want to progress, you can bring the hands in on each other and then join the fingertips to the palm or the palms together if you can into the centre of your uh, thumb facing the centre of your nose and then drawing the elbows down and out from the body. So we're really deep stretch in our upper back here. And breathe. I'm trying to find these nice little moments of calm. I'm trying to meditate on the stretch. More breaths here. And then in your next exhale, we're going to release the hands slowly, release the arms, bring them down. And just put your hands again on your shoulders and just open them up. So hopefully we've created a little bit of space there in our shoulders and our upper back and our neck. We're just going to finish it off now with a little lateral side bend. So for one side, we're going to drop our hand down. And you can keep your hand here, or you can drop your forearm down to if you can. The goal is to keep our sit bones on the ground. So we're going to inhale the opposite arm over. So you can stay here and get that lateral stretch. Or if you can, drop the forearm down while keeping the sit bones on the ground. And just breathe here. And we exhale. Trying to just reach with that overhand, stretch a little bit farther. Really feeling that lateral stretch all inside of your body. Breathe here. And we're going to inhale back to center. 
And we're just going to go the opposite side. So again, hand down the ground, raise your arm overhead. Stay here if you need to, or you can drop down. You can get that into that deeper position. And take your time with every exhale. Try to stretch a little bit more. We're not in any rush. Keep breathing. shoulder, neck, upper back mobility routine. We're going to move on. Everyone take a little drink here. You can. We're going to move on then to a little bit of our cat cows, a little bit of integrating the arms and the legs here. So we're going to start off in an all fours position. So we're going to have our knees on the mat, our hands down on the mat, and fanning out our fingers. So we're really getting a nice even weight distribution. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And really pressing the palm of our hand into the mat and uh, pushing the weight into our fingertips as well. So just be nice and, st and stable in this position. If you've got that, imagine a tray of drinks on your back, that tray of drinks isn't moving anywhere. This is our neutral position. Our back is nice and straight and we're nice and stable. So from here we're gonna start linking our movements um, together. So we're going to inhale as we go for our cow pose, which is arching the lower back, gazing up towards the ceiling, straighten that strap more than our front, and then exhale as we tuck the tailbone under, bring the chin down to the chest and get a nice deep curve in our upper back. Press into the ground. Inhale, gaze up towards the ceiling, arch your lower back, stretch your front. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, tuck the tailbone under, get a nice C curve, make a nice healthy shape in your upper back. Inhale, back to our cow pose, arch the lower back. Exhale, our cat pose, tuck the tailbone, C curve in your upper back. And work through these at your own rate. Linking your inhale with your cows and linking your exhales with your cat. Inhale, raise. And again, imagine someone pulling your fingers and your toes away. We're 
we're strong through this pose. Back in. Inhale, opposite side out. And then come back to our legs. From here, we're going to keep the hands where they are. We're going to walk the knees back a little bit. So we're sort of in that half push-up position. We're going to inhale our leg back. And then exhale, come down with the push-up. Leg in the air. Inhale up. Exhale, drop back in. Opposite side. Inhale the leg, leg out. Exhale, come down for the push-up. Leg in the air. Exhale up. Inhale then. I might mess that up there. So inhale the leg out. Exhale then. Inhale up. Exhale then. Inhale up the leg out. Exhale then. Inhale up. Exhale then. Opposite leg, inhale out. Exhale down for the person. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last two, inhale out. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale, leg out. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale then. From here now, we're going to come for wide leg child's pose. So, putting your knees out on either side of your mat, sitting your butt back towards your heels, trying to bring your forehead down to the mat as you walk your hands away from the body. And again, you can sit on a block in this position if your butt doesn't quite go back towards your heel. You can sit down on a block or a cushion. That's okay. So just using this as our recovery pose. And here, filling up the lungs here, thinking of those two big balloons. And exhale. So just trying to relax the body in this pose. Walking the fingertips away for that extra stretch down your side. And just trying to get that breath back. the spine up to our back in a seated position. So that's our second little bit done. Take a little drink if you need it. It's only important to stay hydrated throughout any movements that we do. I'm going to get moving on now to our little standing uh, sequence. Well, we're going to start off on the mat and then we're going to progress to standing. So, you can shake out your body here if your shoulders are feeling a little bit. We're going to come back now onto our hands. So, rip, fanning out those hands, gripping the mat, pressing the weight into the palms of the fingertips. And from here we're going to come to a high plank pose. So, start off to make sure your wrists are underneath your shoulders. And then we're going to come for the high plank pose. Just take a little, a little breath here. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. So trying to breathe through these uh, poses. Activate your whole body here. Another breath. And then we're going to lift the butt up towards the ceiling for a downward facing dog. You can bend your knees here, bend your feet. We want our back straight. And then we'll work on straightening out the legs. So if you tie hamstrings, you keep your legs bent, keep the heels off the ground, and just gently walk one foot at a time. So feel out this pose. You don't want to be up high like this. We want to press the butt back, so we straighten in the back, and bend the knees. You can squat down here, and then lift the butt up towards the ceiling. So feel that stretch in your hamstrings, your back. Just breathing through it. Walking out your legs here, get comfortable in this. It's gonna look different for everybody. Here we 
very active pose here. Really gripping the mat with our hands. Straight back always. And keeping our left foot on the ground here, we're going to inhale the right foot into the air. So nice for three leg dog. So a little bit of balance work here. One leg in the air. Balancing on one leg, taking a few breaths here, really stretching out the hamstring. Take a breath here. Inhale. And then exhale. We're going to draw the knee towards the torso and place the foot down outside of the hand. So if your foot stops here, that's no problem. You can just gently lift and guide the foot up higher so it's outside our hand and then that knee we want to actually push that knee out so feeling the stretch in the groin you can drop the knee down here to the mat and then the foot down flat as well you're just staying here for a little bit feeling it out are a bit intense for you, you just hold on to your weights here that's okay as well or your arms are going to be up biceps towards ears from here then we're going to drop the arms down that back foot we're going to turn it so it's at a 45 degree angle the front foot is going to stay where it is so we're going to put our hands on our hip bones here and we're just going to gently turn it out to the side and keep an eye on your knee here your knee's going to want to turn in you want to actively just push that knee out activate your glute here push that knee out away from the body so back foot is a 45 degree angle hip bones facing forward and we're going to inhale the arms up for warrior two turn that gaze over towards the middle finger of your lead hand tuck your tailbone under here to activate your hip flexors and breathe we're feeling that stretch all in our chest, feeling in our neck, the legs are working, so these poses are strengthening our body while stretching, improving our mobility, improving our flexibility. And try not to be too rigid with your arms, you want your arms to be nice and loose. here we're just going to drop our back hand keep our chest open and we're just going to stretch with our opposite arm overhead but keeping the chest open here a little bit of a lateral stretch here other arm holding on to your hamstring at the back and a couple of breaths here and then we're going to step that back leg, we're going to bring it up forward here and then with a little bit of a wide space between our feet we're going to sit back for a chair pose so arms in front, it's kind of like a squat a wide leg squat here, sit back into your chair try not to have your knees too far in front of your uh, ankles really feeling that burn in the quads here Breathe through any discomfort. Another breath here. 
And then we're gonna come up standing. And then we're just gonna come and lean over, bend the knees if you have to. Come forward for our ragdoll stretches. Let the torso hang in. And then you can grab onto your elbows here. And you can just gently rock side to side for a ragdoll stretch. Should be stretching the hamstrings here. So after all that quad work, again an opposite stretch on the hamstrings. Let the head hang in. And just breathe. yourself up to so that your wrists are under your shoulders and you're in that nice plank position. Take a few breaths here. Squeeze your whole body here. Every muscle in your body is active in the plank. Keep that core nice and strong. Inhale. And then exhale, lift the butt up towards the ceiling for the downward facing dog. Straight back first, squat down if you need to. Then lift the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Again, we're not covering up forward like this. We're pressing back, straight back first. Walk the legs if you like. Lifting the sit bone up towards the ceiling. Keep breathing. And then, keeping our right foot in the ground this time, we're going to inhale the left leg into the air for three legged dog. Three legged dog. So really feeling that extra stretch in our hamstring there in the standing foot. Take a breath here. Inhale. And then your next exhale. Draw the knee in towards the chest. Place the foot down outside of the opposite hand. Nice low lunge or lizard pose. Drop that opposite knee down towards the mat. Foot down flat. And then push that knee out. We don't have to actively push it, but just a little bit. Getting that stretch inside your hip flexor. So feeling it out here. You can rock gently side to side. Feel it out. So you should be feeling no sharp shooting pain, just slight discomfort pain. And breathe. Halfway through here, another breath. Inhale, as we turn the toes of the back foot onto the mat, Lift that knee up. Make sure we have a nice solid base, foot and foot, nice and solid. And then we're going to inhale up for the high lunge. So you can adjust your feet here, you might come back a little bit, that's okay. Up for the high lunge, biceps towards the ears. If that's too much, you keep your hands in your hips. And just breathe. We're working our opposite side now. Hands in your hips in the high lunge, or the arms up biceps towards ears and again not kind of floppy hands strong straight arms I'm just going to turn here so you guys can see me a little bit more on the move breathing through the pose And then I'm going to turn that back foot at a 45 degree angle, facing it this way. And then that front foot, just going to make sure that our knee is in line with our ankle here. Hands on our hip bones, we turn 
our hips out. Watch that knee, press it back, actively push it back out. Tuck the tailbone under, activate the hip flexors. Inhale, the arms up for warrior two. Again, nice loose arms. And then turn your gaze over the middle finger of your lead hand. Imagine there's a wall behind you and you're pressed up nice against it. You want that alignment here. Inhale. Exhale. Stretch in the body, strengthen in the body. Nice and strong. Keep breathing. If your knees turn in, push it out. It's not like any part of about mindfully staying here, noticing your body, and if it comes, if your biceps, if you're trying to, if you're crunching up, you're just bringing it back in. You're just getting back into it as best you can. Keep breathing. And drop that back hand towards your hamstring. Keeping the chest facing forward. We're just going to stretch that arm overhead. Get that lateral stretch. And breathe. Almost there, guys. Keep inhaling, keep exhaling. Yoga is just so great for being in the moment. You can feel your body. You can be crying out to you. You're here, you're present, you're feeling it. From here then, bring the arm down. Step that back foot forward. Nice wide space between our feet here. I'm going to sit back into that chair. Arms up. So sitting back. Pressing the weight into the back of the foot, into the heel. Breathe. And again, if the arms are too much, you can bring them down, you can rest them slightly, but don't lean on your knees. Just gently rest them. All the work is in the quads here. But again, bring your arms out in front. Last few breaths here, almost there. Quads on fire here. And then we're going to inhale up. And then come down then, keeping the legs where they are. Coming over for the rag dog. Just stretching the body down, letting the head hang down. Really feeling the leg here. You can grab onto your ankles, the back of your legs, or you can grab on to your elbows here. And gently rock side to side. Let the head hang down. Stretch out your back and your hamstrings. And keep breathing. stretch we do and this in the pigeon stretch can be hard to get the 90 degrees in the leg so doing it like this is sort of like training your body up a little bit for that like a modified version you feeling any sort of 
crazy pressure on your knee, just walk that forward foot down a little bit and you can gently you know, work, work it up. And breathe through the stretch. should be feeling tired now. After these, the next few stretches we're going to come down for our Shavasana, so our final relaxation piece, coming down for the corpse pose. And that is the goal of all yoga, of the asanas of yoga, the movements of yoga, is to be able to tire out the body so we can lie down in our Shavasana at the end and just meditate, <laughs> relax the body. So we're going to release, use your hand, gently release that foot. We're going to do the opposite side. So again, start off, walk that foot down, bring the uh, ankle on top of the quad, and then just start walking that opposite heel back towards the body. Feel that stretch in your glute and breathing through it. that count at the very end. <laughs> Breathe through it. In and out through the nose. Noticing where you're feeling the stretch. chest really quick and just gently rock side to side and massage that lower back off the mat. And then from here we're just going to extend one leg at a time, coming there for our corpse pose. So just lying down, shoulders on the mat, back on the mat. Our legs are going to be down and out, our feet falling out to the side, our arms down and out, palms facing up. And we're just going to take a big inhale here. And exhale from the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale from the mouth. One more inhale through the nose. Exhale from the mouth. And we're just going to do a quick body scan here. We think about our body from our head the whole way down to our toes and back up. And just noticing any areas we're carrying tension. And with every exhale, just trying to breathe out that tension. Breathe in and breathe out. And we're just going to relax ankles, feel it, all the energy boy, relax our calves, relax our thighs, let the lower back sink into the mat, relax in our chest, and relax the shoulders, let them melt into the mat. Relaxing our upper arms and our forearms. Relaxing the hands, letting the fingers curl up gently to the side. Relaxing our jaw. Removing the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Relax our cheeks. Relax our forehead. And just letting any thoughts come and go. Still focusing on our breath. Our 
whole body has become dead weight. And you're just trying to take these last few minutes to be reflective. slowly and soft, bringing that awareness back into our body, and just gently wiggling our fingers and our toes, and noticing our breath again. And then draw our knee in towards our chest, and roll over on to our opposite side, and just take a little breath here. back up and then keeping your eyes closed over we're going to press back up to cross legged position bringing our hands to our heart center and we're just going to take a nice inhale together here and exhale as we drop our forehead down to our fingertips and we're just going to take this last moment to just be reflective on our practice and thank ourselves for taking out this little bit of time, carving it out for ourselves to move our body, to care for our body and work in instead of working out. We're taking our last few breaths together here. for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed um, the class. If you have any questions about anything, any, anything you'd like to see in a session, you can just comment below, let me know, and let me know if you enjoyed the class as well. Thanks very much, guys, and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye.